Hello and welcome to this video. Today we will talk about surprising facts about the INFP, aka the precious snowflake of the entire MBTI. If you like Myers-Briggs, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more in-depth content about the personality types. We create new videos regularly. Now let's get straight into the video. Number 1, They are your unpaid therapist. Whilst many in the MBTI community believe that it is the INFJ type who has the skills to be the free therapist to their friends and family, we argue that it is actually the INFP. The INFP's first and main function is introverted feeling, which means that they are highly empathetic and will relate to the feelings of the other person. In comparison, the INFJ's first function is introverted intuition, and their second function is extroverted feeling. While an INFJ is great at profound insights about the other person, they are less likely to emotionally relate to them. That's why the INFJ is often referred to as counselor, and the INFP is often called a healer. Number 2, Other People Dump Their Problems On Them Unfortunately, there can be a downside to being so gentle and outwardly receptive, other people dump their problems on you. Many INFPs end up in one-sided conversations in which the other person vents their feelings, and complains, while the INFP listens patiently. Being the dumping ground for other people's problems can give INFPs a sense of emotional heaviness, and in fact, many INFPs do have an air of melancholy about them. Spending time alone, immersed in a creative project or in nature, can help clear the INFP's head. And, INFPs can learn to set boundaries to avoid getting used emotionally in the future. Number 3, Creative Expression is the Lifeblood of an INFP INFPs tend to excel at writing, music, or other forms of creative expression. This is true for many introverts, but for INFPs it's because art allows them to express their deep feelings in an authentic way. INFPs may not be able to articulate their deep personal feelings to friends and family in passing conversation, but they can create a painting or write a novel to immerse others in their emotional experience. It may be an emotional experience related to their own feelings the feelings of another person they've come in contact with, or on a much wider scale, the feelings of the human experience in general. Number 4, INFPs are deeply in touch with their values. Perhaps more than any other personality type, INFPs are deeply in touch with their personal values, because their dominant mental function is introverted feeling. This means INFPs make decisions by asking themselves, what feels right for me? INFPs are generally non-judgmental and gentle, but they may find themselves reacting with anger or defensiveness when someone violates their values. This may happen when other personality types, such as thinking types like the ENTJ, INTJ, or ESTJ, demand to know the rationale behind the INFP's decision. But INFPs may not be able to offer logical reasons. They made a decision simply because they felt a certain way. When others criticize them for not having a good reason, the INFP may be left feeling invalidated. If this happens too much, sadly, the INFP may begin to doubt themselves and their most natural way of thinking. Number 5, They Hate Being Controlled At first glance, INFPs appear to be flexible, often putting aside their own needs to preserve peace in their relationships and friendships. They don't readily voice their real opinions. Rather, they hint at what they want saying something like, anyone want to try the new Mexican restaurant tonight? And most of the time, they're okay with accommodating other people's preferences. However it is extremely annoying to the INFP is when a supervisor, a spouse, or anyone else attempts to confine them to a box and force them to work or live the same way every day. Deep down inside, INFPs desire personal autonomy. Unlike extroverted judging types, such as ESTJs, ESFJs, ENTJs, and ENFJs, they want little to do with organizing people, institutions, or projects. They need very little outer control. But they must have inner control. Though you won't find a judging preference in their four-letter type, INFPs are technically dominant judgers. They lead with a judging function known as introverted feeling, and it is directed inwardly toward the self. INFPs are control freaks, of themselves. Number 6, INFPs don't want just any random job. INFPs are not particularly driven by money or career status. What they really care about is doing work that aligns with their personal values and allows them to help others. Because INFPs are highly individualistic, they may feel dissatisfied working for a company or organization that they don't personally believe in. 
INFPs are motivated by vision and inspiration, so they may become restless and unhappy if they have to do routine work often. The ideal career match for an INFP will allow them to express their individuality. It will take advantage of their ability to see unique solutions. INFPs need freedom, so their ideal job should allow for independence in how they do their job, including how and when they complete projects. As they experiment in life, try new things, and find themselves, INFPs will inevitably narrow their interests and be better equipped to find work that truly resonates with them. Number 7 the people in their lives must share their values. INFPs make wonderful partners and friends. They're loyal, nurturing, and understanding. Self-aware and often spiritual, INFPs tend to be open-minded and accepting of other people's preferences and behavior, as long as their own core values are not violated. They strongly support their friends and partners' individuality, encouraging them to explore their own ideas and interests. However, they choose romantic partners and friends carefully. In order for the INFP to be socially happy, not just any person will do. INFPs look for people whose values are similar to theirs. And they need someone with whom they can create deep emotional intimacy. Number 8, They Shy Away From Conflict INFPs tend to be sensitive and have a strong need for harmonious relationships. Because of their open accepting nature, they're always looking for ways to find compromises and accommodate other people's needs. They are generally quite skilled at finding creative solutions to interpersonal problems. However, confronting someone can be difficult for them. Sometimes there can be an intense fear of confrontation. That's why they can sometimes ignore problems or keep negative reactions to themselves. Number 9, They Thrive on Quiet Contemplation Often, INFPs are lovers of nature who spend time outside or in the wilderness. They do this in an effort to passionately connect with what they see as the basic essence of life. Especially early in life, INFPs may become lone wanderers, as they travel and explore one place after another. They're usually content with rather simple or bohemian living arrangements, perhaps furnishing their homes with second-hand furniture and decor. Extravagant vacations, designer clothes, and fine meals are by no means a priority for the INFP. They much rather value a simple life of meaning over a life of material goods. Number 10, INFPs can grow by having new experiences. The INFP secondary function, extroverted intuition, is a learning process that sees behind the curtain, so to speak. It perceives patterns in the INFP's experiences and makes connections that aren't necessarily obvious or inherent by definition. It asks, what if? And sees possibilities. The way INFPs can grow on a personal level is by using this process to explore, make connections, and learn new things. For INFPs, this may mean traveling to new places, taking classes to learn new skills, joining groups or clubs to meet new people, or feeding their appetite for new information by reading or exploring the arts. The more INFPs have new experiences, the more they will add to their deep understanding of emotions and the human condition. All in all, INFPs are amazing people who will always support and nurture their loved ones. However, they are also very sensitive. We encourage all INFPs watching this to try and tap into their passion, sense of meaning, and natural abilities of creative expression. This is how INFPs achieve true happiness, and get others excited about causes they believe in, as well as profoundly inspire those around them. If you like this video, please consider subscribing. We create new content regularly, and are always happy to see you on our channel. Have a beautiful day, and see you next time.